guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. So today I have an August fix unboxing and yes, it's August. How? There's hairs flying. Sorry. So how is it August? I feel like I was just telling you guys that I was shocked that it was July. Summer just started, yet it's already coming to an end. Kind of. I think September, September I think summer actually ends in mid-September. So we do have like a month and a half left of it, but I feel like once kids go back to school, everybody just assumes summer's over and it's already fall. So, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I guess we'll have some fall fixes coming up. Maybe, it's still like 110 where I live. So, I don't really plan on wearing any fun cozy sweaters and Uggs until like December. Anyway, I asked you guys in my comments on my last fix for suggestions on a themed fix and somebody I don't know if that person wants me to put their name in the video but that person commented on the last video and suggested a boho slash Nicole Richie themed fix which I thought was really cool because I wouldn't consider my style boho at all unless I'm going to like a music festival which I don't even think I've ever been to a boho type of music festival like Coachella or anything I'm out of breath. But I would not consider my style boho at all. I'm more of a romantic, classic style or a very much like legging and bomber jacket and sneaker type of girl. So boho's not even in my comfort zone. Um, I tried to pick a boho -y piece to wear for this video so it was like vibing with it, but I feel like I'm in a hospital gown. <laughs> so, um, this dress is from Target. Everybody always asks where my outfits are from in my videos, and they're usually like years old or they're stitch fix pieces. So, this is from last summer, I think, from Target. I don't know if they still sell it, but I feel like I'm in a hospital gown, or maybe it's from this summer. Um, I thought it was super cute when I bought it, and then I put it on and wore it a couple times, and I've was like, it looks like I'm going in for a surgery or a procedure. Anyways, let's get this video finally started. Um, I am not expecting to keep anything from this fix just because it is a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, but, I, but I do thank the girl who suggested this idea because I thought it was great. And um, there was somebody else who said she second that comment so thank you too if you guys do want to see more themed fixes um give me suggestions i did like an athlete athleisure wear one um a couple fixes ago this will be a boho one yeah i don't know maybe an edgy would you guys like to see an edgy one because again that's n like probably further from my style than boho is um so yeah if you'd like to see an edgy one give this video a thumbs up if not comment down below what you would like to see and i will do my best to make that um, video in a future. I will do my best to film that for you. Is that right? Why am I always nervous once I turn the camera on? So as always we have our turn label right here and then um, price sheet, stylist note, and we now style kids again. I will leave information about kids if you are interested. I do not style kids. So you can't request me to style your kids. I only style men and women. And then the price sheet and the suggestions on how to wear each piece. Okay. So I don't think there's a lot of color. Um, I didn't purposely send myself like black and white pieces. Um, but that's just what happened. And I did find one like colored boho piece. Is my camera like not even straight? I can't tell. I'm sorry if this video is like off balance. Um, but I did find like one colored boho piece, so yeah. And I wasn't gonna send myself a kimono because I thought this wouldn't be a, a boho fix without a kimono. But I found some other fun pieces I thought you guys might like instead. So let's just open those. One second. My dog was barking. Okay, so there's a lot of like embroidery going on. So if you aren't familiar with boho style, Boho is very much like a flowy, bohemian. Um, the girl said it perfectly, Nicole Richie, like the queen of boho a style. I wouldn't necessarily say I sent myself Nicole Richie inspired pieces. I did try looking at some of her photos and finding similar pieces, but it wasn't working, so I just did this uh, fix as boho. 
Um, but uh, there's going to be a lot of like embroidery and crochet. What else would you see? Like tassel, um, fringe, all that is boho. I'm sure you guys already know what it is. Um, maybe some sub subtle floral prints, but depending on the pattern and how much floral there is, it could also be romantic. Okay, so the first piece is the Your Story Contessa Embroidery Peplum Tank in white size small. This is $38. It's actually really cute. It just has this navy embroidery detailing down the center and then it does like have a peplum flow to it uh, which is just like a little band and then it flows out and it has a keyhole back detail. This piece is super cute. I feel like paired with some fringe jean shorts and maybe strappy sandals or booties. I'm ready to go to Coachella. I'm excited to try it. The next piece is a Kaylee Arden off the shoulder knit jumpsuit in size small. This is $58. So this is supposed to be a midi jumpsuit, but considering I'm 4'11", it's going to probably be full length on me. Um, so if you are a taller gal, this is going to be very flattering on you, but it's off the shoulder. And then it has pockets for all you who love pockets. I don't like pockets on my clothing. And then it has the wide leg and I don't think this is going to look very flattering on me just because I am so short. Um, I feel like it's just going to make me look even shorter. But I would say if you are like 5'7 or taller or even like 5'6, this is going to look amazing on your figure. So I'm nervous to try this piece on. Watch it be like the piece I actually like. That always happens. And then the next one is another jumpsuit. This is the Kaylee... Vienna back detail knit crop jumpsuit, another crop style, size small, $64. So this is the front. I'm actually really feeling this piece because I would say out of everything, it would be like the least boho-y type, although it is still very boho. So it has this beautiful floral print and striped detailing and then pockets yet again and it does have the longer leg, but look how cute the back is. This is my favorite part of this piece. It has like a tie back detail. So it has super cute little like sexy vibe to it going on back there. I'm excited and nervous to try both the jumpsuits on. I might have to size down. I mean, I'm probably not gonna keep them, but if I were to keep them, I would probably have to size down. This is the one piece I might actually keep because I feel like it's definitely me. It's the Vixby Keeley embroidered detail dress. Um, extra small, $54. So how cute is this? It has embroidery all on the off the shoulder band and then all the way down to the bottom it has the same embroidery detailing. This is super cute and perfect for this hot summer heat I'm living in. I'm most excited for this piece because I feel like aside from this, it's the most like my style. And then these are the RD style embroidered crinkle wide leg pants in black size extra small. $58. You guys, when I saw these, I thought it was perfect timing for the boho themed fix because these fit them, fit that theme perfectly. They're black and then they have like, you can't, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but there's like shorts underneath it that end right here. And then it's very sheer all the way down the leg. And then it has this long embroidery, long, wide, wide leg embroidery detailing on it. And I'm not sure if these are high-waisted, but I'm really excited to try them on. I feel like this would be a super cute with like a white crop top or even like a burgundy crop top and a jean jacket and some wedges or strappy sandals. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go try everything on for you guys and I will be right back. Alright guys, so I just went ahead and tried everything on. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I will leave it right here. Make sure you go and follow me because I do post everything I get my fixes and then have you guys vote on if I should keep the piece or if you like the piece or whatever. So, I'm actually kind of surprised 
because uh, the piece I thought I was going to like the least, that black off the shoulder jumpsuit, was my favorite piece, of course. And my favorite piece that I thought was going to be my favorite, as I, I'm not even going to keep it. Like, it was one of my least favorites. Um, so the white dress is going to be going back. I just did not really like the fit. I felt like it didn't really give, any, give me any shape. Um, this jumpsuit was really cute. I feel like, um, although it is considered a boho -y piece, I could totally pair it with heels and it will be like a really nice piece to wear to a party or something with some diamond earrings and you could totally dress it up. Um, so this is actually a maybe. That is why it's so important to try pieces on because you never know what you're gonna like. You might think you're gonna hate it right out of the box and then you put it on and you actually really like it. So that's my little tip. Make sure you guys try every piece on that you get in your fix. And then um, these were not my style at all but they were really fun to try on and it was really exciting to like try something completely out of my comfort zone. Um, this is not something I would ever wear but I think it's really cute still, like on somebody who does have a boho type vibe. Going next piece is this top. Um, it was just a little bit too big on me. Uh, I felt like it was not very flattering on my figure, um, but I do really love the embroidery detail. I think that's super cute. And I just think paired correctly with jeans and strappy sandals, this would be like a really, really cute piece to wear. Um, but I will be sending that back as well. And then this piece I actually liked second most after the other jumpsuit. I just thought it was really cute. The back detail is super cute. Um, that's probably my favorite part of it. And then paired with heels, again, it could be a romantic piece. It doesn't have to be like strictly boho. Um, so yeah, that was fun. It was really cool to like step out of my comfort zone because every fix I'm doing is like something totally in my comfort element, like leggings or... Um, little crochet and lace detailed romantic tops. So if you guys have any more suggestions on what you would like to see, make sure to comment down below. Do not forget do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow me and my boyfriend on social media. I'll leave that again right here. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.